What's up guys, this is your friendly neighborhood extreme spidey guy here and today I'm going to be doing a movie review of uh, a Charlie Brown, a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving directed by Bill Melendez and Phil Moran, Phil, Mo Phil, Phil Ro Roman. So it is the 10th primetime Peanuts animated television special based upon the popular comic strip Peanuts by Charles M. M. Schultz. It originally aired on the CBS network on November 20th, 1973, and it won the Emmy Award the following year. It was the third holiday special after A Charlie Brown Christmas in 1965, and it's The Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown in 1966. So, uh, what's the story for this movie? What? No, no, no. What's the story for the special, I meant? <laughs> Peppermint Patty invites everyone to Charlie Brown's for Thanksgiving. Even though he's going to see his grandmother, Snoopy decides to cook his own version of a Thanksgiving meal with help of his friends. So, what do I think of this special? This is obviously one of the best holiday specials I have ever seen in my life. Todd Barbie definitely does an awesome job voicing Charlie Brown, and they archived the late Peter Robbins' voice of Charlie Brown's screaming voice. Robin Cohn definitely does an awesome job voicing Lucy Van Pelt. Stephen Shee definitely does an awesome job voicing Linus Van Pelt. Um... Hilary Momberger definitely does an awesome job as Sally Brown. Christopher D. Farria definitely does an awesome job as Peppermint Patty. Uh, Jimmy Aarons definitely does an awesome job as Marcy. Robin Reed definitely does an awesome job as Franklin. And Bill Melendez definitely does an awesome job voicing Snoopy and Woodstock. So, the special starts off in a cold open cameo. Lucy initiates Charlie Brown to kick her football, calling it a Thanksgiving tradition. <laughs> she pulls a, the ball away and usual starts stating that some traditions fade away. And which that scene was actually very hilarious, though. <laughs> the Browns are preparing to go to their grandmother's for Thanksgiving dinner when Charlie Brown gets a phone call from Peppermint Patty who's alone for Thanksgiving and wants to come over for dinner. Two quick subsequent phone calls from Peppermint Patty and Marcy and Franklin to the guest list for a dinner. Linus suggests to a perplexed Charlie Brown that he could have two. Thanksgiving dinners, the first Thanksgiving feast can be for himself, Peppermint Patty, and the others, while the second one could be at one at his grandparents' house for his family. Linus recruits Snoopy and Woodstock to help. Snoopy sets up a ping pong table and chairs. <laughs> and that act that scene, and sorry I spit by the way, and that scene where like the chair moving and like Snoopy was like fighting it, that was actually very hilarious. Charlie Brown, Snoopy, and Woodstock, and Charlie Brown, Snoopy, Woodstock, and Linus then prepare for a feast of toast, pan-fried popcorn, pretzel sticks, and jelly beans. The guests arrive and make their way to the backyard for the first Thanksgiving feast. Linus leads the group in prayer that details the first Thanksgiving in 1621, and then Snoopy serves up the feast. When... Charlie Brown hap happily munches. Peppermint Patty scrowls about the food. Peppermint Patty's initial scoff, shock, and the unconventional meal quickly turns to the outrage and complains to Charlie Brown, who dejectedly leaves the table. Marcy then asks her whether Charlie Brown is invited her or if she just invited herself coming to her senses. Peppermint Patty asks Marcy to apologize to Charlie Brown on her behalf, un initially paralleling the courtship of Miles Standish. Marcy reluctantly agrees, but Peppermint Patty soon falls and apologizes to him, to him 
herself. Following this, Charlie Brown is reminded that he and Sally are dude at their grandmother's house for dinner. So he calls and so he calls so he calls her and explains that his situation. When he mentions his his friends are there and his grandmother invites them all to Thanksgiving dinner, much to the group's elation as they all pile into the car to go to the Brown family's grandparents' house. They sing, over the river and through the woods to grandma's house we go. <laughs> Despite being a traditional song for Thanksgiving, Charlie Brown disqualifies the song's title and says the only problem is his grandmother that lives in a condominium. Snoopy and Woodstock go to the doghouse and cook up their own traditional Thanksgiving meal. When they break up the wishbone, which Woodstock wins, over the over the credits to enjoy some pumpkin pie. Now, there's also some like scenes I did enjoy, like when Snoopy was getting like Thanksgiving items for like Woodstock and then and when like stuff like didn't fit on him and I thought that was actually pretty hilarious though. And um and um the endings the ending is definitely awesome where like um where where Snoopy and Woodstock are like having turkey and some pumpkin pie and then the end credits roll. Excuse me. Um and um I have seen this special at my um in my Zoom class um in 2020. Um and uh and um And, uh, and, um, and I know, um, and I know, like, um, and, um, the animation is definitely awesome as, and as always, the music's very good, and, um, and, um, the direction is definitely flawless in this film. Now, are there any bad qualities I I have with this special I actually meant? Absolutely not, and here's how I'm going to rate this special. I am going to give a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving a full solid 10 out of 10. So tell me your thoughts on a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's okay? Do you think it's overrated? And And happy Thanksgiving? To all you people out there.